Hello children. Welcome Mudan. How are you all? Hope everybody is doing good along with your family members. Convey my warm regards to your family members too. Yes. Let me extend my warm welcome to all for this wonderful Elga video session. We are here to view the video of the revision unit 5. Our unit topic is Great World Leaders. Yes. Children, before entering to the session, just keep this in mind always in your lifetime. If you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. We may not expect anybody behind us to push. Your passion will drive you there. So, always be passionate but patient. Okay, children? Yes. You know very well, we have five components under ELGA. Which are named to be phonics, whole words, reading and listening, grammar, writing and speaking expression. Right. So, let us see one by one in this video. Under phonics, you should remember what are all the phonetical rules we had come across. Right. First comes in this unit we have been learning short vowel sounds. Under that rule we are learning several vowel sounds. The first one to be all. All has in basketball. Stall, wallet, mall, recall. Next comes all. All has in walnut, bald, watts, quality, falter. Next sound comes to be ok. Ok has in chalk, walk, Bark, talk, sidewalk, etc. Eh. Next sounds come to be E. Eh. E eh has an squabble, watch, swan, swat, etc. O. O sound has an brook, wool, shook, look. And then, U, U has an butches, pudding, push, bush, etc. So these are some short vowel sounds we have been coming across in this unit 5. I have given you some example words. We have more words in our SR. Refer your worksheet book to, to learn how to use these sounds while writing. Okay children, next we can move to the whole words. These are some whole words we learnt under this unit. Come along with me. The first word, great test. Great test. Children, while reading these words, just try to remember the spellings of these words. Next word is removed. Removed. Forever. Forever. Alab. Alab. After. After. Worked. Worked. Hard. Hard. Books. Books. 
anything anything without without many many under under stood stood once once found found got got become become father father called called longest longest so these are the whole words we had learned in unit 5 so now comes the whole words after completing whole words we are in section 3 that is a reading and listening so under this reading and listening what are all the things we had learned yes we have been learning about the main idea of the passage so the ex to explain the main idea of the passage and also to provide a details about those story or paragraph next we had identified facts from the passage okay which is identified facts facts and also author's opinion and this is the main thing to find the meanings of difficult words in the given story right next comes grammar part so before going to grammar part we shall see the four important steps to find the meanings of difficult words step 1 is read the sentence with the word and step 2 read the sentence before and after it step 3 look at the other words in the same sentence which we know the meaning step 4 guess the meaning of the word these are the four steps to be remembered while we are trying to get the meaning of a difficult word try this children yes next for finding the main idea we have some clues so first read the title and headings next look at the pictures that has been given in those stories third one we read the first sentence and the last sentence which will help us to find the main idea of the story and look for important words next think over of you what is this passage or story telling me then we can easily find the main idea of the story next under grammar part we are learning prepositions you know very well prepositions are short words that connect different parts of a sentence they tell us the relationship between people places and things so what are the prepositions we had covered on at in towards near during for with without against let me tell you now the usage of these prepositions on where can we use this on it is used to show any date or time and used to show position of a person or object next comes at at it shows exact time okay for example we shall meet at 4 pm tomorrow yes next is in it shows the parts of the day okay for example i usually go home in the evening next comes towards towards in the sense it shows direction i walked towards the school next
next comes near he chose position my house is near the station during during shows a duration or time and next is for for can be used when we want to show a reason or purpose we started splashing water for fun here the reason fun is to be told with the help of for next with with shows means shows position a boy who was making pictures with sand next is without it shows lack of position which with shows possession without shows lack of possession hema likes milk without sugar against to disagree with something i am against animal cruelty so this shows the disagree of animal cruelty of a person yes next comes for connect us words that connect two sentences or two parts of a sentence without changing their meaning are called connect us so what are the connectors we are learning here and but or so and can be used when both sentences are true or are of equal importance okay for example virat made world record and made india proud here virat made a world record is a separate sentence and made india proud is a separate sentence so if we want to connect these two sentences which has equal importance we are using the connector and okay children next comes for but so but used to show contradiction virat set a world record but india lost the match here virat played well and but also india lost the match next sentence or o r or it shows there is one choice or option suresh can eat an apple or an orange suresh can eat either apple or an orange it is his wish this is how connect us used to be next comes for sequence connect us sequence connect us are special types of connect us they connect two events happening at the same time or one after the other they tell us the sequence of events here the connect us what we are learning are while before after first then next later finally while is used when two events happen at the same time keep this in your mind children when two events happen at the same time we can use while for example radha was eating while her dad was sleeping her dad is sleeping radha's dad is sleeping radha was eating so two things happening at the same time that is why we use the connector while next before before and after show the sequence of two events happening one after the other before in the sense it happens earlier after in the sense it happens later raman went to sleep before his father came home his father came home after raman went to sleep both has the same meaning okay then comes first then next later final these are the connectors which shows a sequence of events in a story or series of steps that is ordering okay first i break the eggs then i heat oil in a pan 
Next, I add the eggs later. I add salt and pepper and let it cook. Finally, I eat the omelette with toast. So, this shows the sequence how to make an omelette toast. Right. And next, we have reasoning connect us to. Reasoning connect us connects or join two sentences by giving a reason. Okay. Those connect us are because, as, since. So these are used to give a reason for an action. For example, Rekha was a late because she forgot about her flight time. Here, instead of us, you can, we can use because also and since also. This is about a reasoning connect us. And finally, we have writing and speaking expression. Under this section, you have learned practice writing opinion articles and how to narrate those opinion articles. Do concentrate in writing and speaking part. By revision time, Everybody should write an opinion article for me and send it to my personal number. Okay, with this, let me wish to complete the session. Thank you, stay tuned, stay connected.